Welcome to Tech with you, our show on Tech Stocks. I'm John Marino, editor of Thomson Reuters PE Hub. Next, it's all about Apple, as at least eight analysts weigh in on the tech powerhouse in the last 24 hours. There's no big earnings release or dramatic apology from the company to spur them into action. Only data, sales from the debut of the iPhone 5 in China. The video we had of a lack of a crowd of people waiting outside of a store in Shanghai doesn't give you the full picture, to say the least. Apple sold at least two million of the devices in the first three days, and that is the best ever smartphone launch in China. Still, Citigroup is not impressed. It cut the stock to neutral from buy and lowered its price target. Shares of Apple are on a bit of a roller coaster ride so far today, falling early but then moving higher as the day wears on. Citi reduced its price target by $100 to $575 per share from $675. Four others also cut their targets, including Pacific Crest, which is now the lowest of the bunch at $565. That's nearly $200 beneath the mean price target of 50 plus analysts tracked by Thomson Reuters Starmine. Citigroup is echoing comments made by Jefferies last week about supply chain cuts for iPhones. It admitted that they're inconclusive in nature, but brings into question the strength of the product itself. Other brokerages are concerned about the smaller iPhone 5 screen size hurting demand. Also, the iPad mini is cannibalizing sales of the larger iPad, and increasing smartphone competition is coming at Apple from Samsung. Research out today from Comscore shows that Samsung is gaining ground, at least in the UK. Its smartphone market share there during August, September, and October of this year more than doubling from the same three months a year earlier. Apple is in the lead, but for how long? Besides Citi, the other analysts who cut their price targets in, in Apple did point out that the company is cheap on a valuation basis, pays a 2% dividend, and still has a lot of growth ahead of it, they said. These points also made by three analysts who came out to tout the company's strong performance in China and allay the fears of investors. Wells Fargo calling its note, Apple, the mine apocalypse is not upon us. Sticking with its $730 upside target, while RBC is staying at $750 and Piper Jaffray remains at $900 per share target for Apple. Wells Fargo also pointing out that chain data has not always been reliable as Apple is expanding its sources. Either way, shares are up about 25% this year. That's twice that of the S&P 500 and significantly higher than NASDAQ overall. That's it for Techwity this Monday. Remember, you can follow us on Twitter at RTRSTechwity. I'm John Marino. This is Reuters.